Moving on from this stuff is a diagram of current paint systems. I want to make that clear. These are every car on the market right now is what's called base coat, clear coat. We've talked a lot about different types of paint systems. Newer model cars are base coat, clear coat, where you have the body panel at the very bottom. So whether that be the metal, the plastic, carbon fiber, carbon Kevlar, fiberglass, whatever that body panel is. They then do a primer to help with adhesion. We then go base coat. That's the color of the vehicle. So whatever color the car is, that's your base coat. And then on top of that, we have clear coat. We work with clear coat. Once you're through that, and you can see all of this stuff is topical. I have some more slides next. But once the scratch goes all the way down through that clear coat base, it doesn't come out with current paint systems. With single stage paint systems, there's a lot of different types, but that is where your clear coats, your UV inhibitors, stuff to protect from the sun. Single stage paint systems are UV inhibitors mixed in with the color. So imagine base coat and clear coat are one layer. It's typically a little bit thinner as well. That's where we can actually get a little deeper in a scratch because I have more paint to work with or a bigger layer of paint. So when we measure paint thicknesses, I'm measuring top of clear coat to top of the body panel. But what I can work with is top of clear coat to bottom of clear coat, about a third the thickness. That's where people go, it's not all the way through to the metal, this scratch. So you can get it out, right? If it's all the way through to the primer, no, I can't remove it completely. You have no color on top of that scratch. If it's halfway down the clear coat, we can remove it completely. If it's into the base coat, we can greatly diminish the scratch. And what we do there is we using our, our tools, our polishers and our abrasives, we can kind of round out the jagged edges where the scratch starts and it's refracting light to show as a scratch. If we round those out and make the transition more gradual and we thin it so that kind of V of a scratch is narrower, the scratch isn't as big and it's not as noticeable. So it's a better alternative than leaving it alone in many cases. There's a lot of stuff we can do once you're through clear coat on new paint systems, I can't remove it completely. I can still make it look better. On single stage systems, once you're down through the full color layer, it can't be completely removed. 